Back in 2017, Kansas City voters passed a one eighth cent sales tax to improve the prospect corridor. We wanted to know how that's being used today. In part, it's helping one facility meet the demands for more child care services in the area. 41 Action News reporter Ray Daniel live this morning on the prospect corridor to explain this need and how it's being met. Ray. Well, Taylor and Lindsay, you know, we are right here by Kitty Depot. We're right near 35th in Woodland and soon they'll be expanding thanks to that sales tax as well as an ordinance that was passed earlier this year to help fund this $3.1 million development. They'll be moving to 22nd and Prospect. So I want to talk about the need. Um, right now they serve about 100 to 115 families every 24 hours and their waiting list 400 children. So these co founders Founders, they tell me that with this development expansion, they'll be able to provide more children in their facility, provide uh, health care services, as well as bring more jobs to the Prospect Corridor area. The things that we offer and what we're teaching our children are also advanced also. So with this pre-K blight that they say that we have, we want to fulfill that by also offering pre-K services to even more children to help get our babies ready to enter the school system. This development will be approximately 10,000 square feet of uh, child care early learning services mm -hmm. and it will be another 45 to 5,000 square feet of pediatric services um, for, the, for the neighborhood. And this has been quite busy all morning. You can see parents dropping off their kiddos. Um, but, you know, we are told the co-founders tell us that they are going to be breaking ground in mid-June. They expect it to take about eight months to complete. There's also going to be a phase two of this development. They're trying to get a STEM school started as well. Live in Kansas City, Ray Daniel, 41 Action News today.